I'm Dr. Karen Davison, an equine nutritionist with Purina Animal Nutrition. Today we're going to talk about nutrition required to support lactating mares, commonly referred to as wet mares. Suckling foals are growing and eating machines that put a significant drain on mares trying to produce enough milk to support that growth. It isn't uncommon to hear a mare owner mention how a foal really drew the mare down, meaning that the mare lost a significant amount of weight while nursing the foal. This won't happen if we provide adequate nutritional support for the mare during this demanding period of lactation. The day the foal is born and begins to nurse, the mare's daily nutrient requires increase tremendously. Her requirements for protein and energy are nearly double what they were during early gestation, as are requirements for calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin A. These nutrient demands must be met in order for the mare to recover from foaling, produce adequate milk, and begin to cycle normally. No other horse has higher energy demands than a mare that's lactating in the first two months of milk production, not even a very hard working horse. If a lactating mare is fed just like a pregnant mare, she'll surely lose body condition and that can negatively affect reproductive efficiency and foal development. Since the mare's energy demands change so dramatically, essentially overnight when she foals, it's a good idea to gradually increase her feed intake over the last three to four months of gestation. Then, when she foals, she'll already be in a good positive energy balance and her feed intake won't need to be significantly increased to support lactation. This is a much better plan than rapidly increasing the feeding rate of the mare post foaling or allowing her to lose body condition during lactation due to not being fed enough calories. It's extremely difficult to put weight on a thin lactating mare, so being ahead of the game is a good plan. So where does all this energy go? It goes into producing an average of three gallons of milk daily through lactation. This high demand starts immediately, but does taper off as lactation progresses. Mare's milk production reaches a peak around 30 days after foaling and slowly declines from there. The nutrient content of mare's milk follows a more drastic downward curve such that by the fourth month of lactation, the mare's milk provides less than 30% of the total energy needed by her foal to grow. Providing a lactating mare with a concentrated feed such as Purina Ultium Growth, Omeline 300, or Strategy GX that include added oil and high quality protein can help slow the downward curve of production and nutrient content of the milk. This will translate into an early growth advantage and the very best start in life for the nursing foal. For more information, please visit our website at www.purinamills.com slash horse dash feed or call our customer service line at 1-800-227-8941.